How's it going guys? Welcome to another Quantum Productions video. Today I'll show you how I edit my Instagram pictures. So, first picture. Let's just load up my Till and Orange presets. I'll leave a link in the description. So, bump up the sharpness. Increase the black levels. And level it, cause it's all crooked. Play around with the contrasts, shadows, whites and blacks. You gotta tune it to your picture. Let's just crop a little bit, use the rule of thirds if you want. Let's pick up a filter and make the bottom portion of the picture a little darker so it draws the attention of the viewer to the middle of the picture okay it's fine let's play around with the oranges so my focus is to make the top portion of the picture really blue or teal and the bottom portion really orange so let's filter the sky and bump down the temperature so it gets really blue. Make it less sharp and clear. So in the end the attention is all drawn up to the middle. Let's pick up a real filter and highlight that tooth in the middle because that's kinda our subject. Increase the clarity and the shadows so we can actually see him and not just a silhouette. In here, I'll just crop it to one per one so I can upload it to Instagram how I want it. Play around with the rule of thirds. In here. Next, that looks good. I'll just drag the filters up and down so they actually do something. And that's pretty much it. We can see that the effect I was looking for was successful, making the deep contrast between the two colors. Now, this picture is a really simple and quick edit. I just load up my black and white preset. I'll also leave the link in the description. Play around with the colors, add a little bit of sharpening. Some grain is already in the preset. And yeah, it's pretty simple. Now, in this picture, I took it with my cell phone. No, actually my girlfriend took it. Uh, with the purpose of being my profile pic on Instagram. And I really wanted to highlight the camera in my hand. But because uh, this was a cell phone picture, I didn't have much room to play around. Otherwise, I'll get a glitchy, weird artifacts on the picture. So I, I had some brush to highlight the corners of the camera. Now let's add a little bit of vignetting in the real filter to highlight myself. Play around with the basic editing so I get it a little more visible. Of course, without getting that glitchy and artifacty effects around me. Artifact. Is that a fucking word? I don't know. Next, let's play around with the blues so it gets a teal look. Also, I use the orange and teal preset. Yeah, I really enjoy that, that picture. I also added a little bit of grain. So tell me in the comments if you, if you enjoy it. Now, in this final picture, I also load up my black and white preset. And I wanted to highlight that dude because I wanted the 
deep look. I also had a lot of sharpening and also a radial filter with some clarity and sharpness to make it really sharp and really stand out. I also pick up the brush and brush around his instrument so I can highlight it even more. Add more clarity. Then I wanted some little bit of light on his face so it gets more visible. His face was way too dark. Let's crop it a little bit. In yeah, another radial filter, so I make the edges of the photo more blurry. Just drop down the sharpness, and yeah, that's it. In this picture, you can really see how well placed edits and highlights can really give a new life to a picture and give it a more dramatic look that is well deserved so that's it hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to like leave a comment and you can download my presets in the description also follow me on instagram at sazermai underscore photo and on facebook at quantum productions so see you next time